Hello everyone, this is Krishnakant Roy and uh, today we are going to discuss um, augmented Dickey Fuller test with the software eViews. Uh, in the previous uh, video, uh, we have seen the theoretical aspect. We have also seen uh, how to perform this uh, augmented Dickey Fuller test using Excel. Now today we are going to see uh, with the software. Uh, I hope you remember that uh, when we derived the equation, this equation had three variants. One was without any intercept or uh, T time trend, uh, that is we call it none. Second option was with the intercept but no time trend. Uh, third option was uh, with trend as well as intercept. Three variants you, we can choose uh, when we go to software. So that's why theoretically three equations. Depending upon uh, which uh, will give you stationary, uh, we examine. All right, so uh, let's start with the augmented Dukey Fuller test uh, using software eViews. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start from the beginning that uh, will give you uh, will download the data first and then we'll uh, use the software. Let's go to yes, go to the browser. I'll download some data. Let's say. Uh, we call it any of the stock price. Let's take uh, its stock price. Let's take uh, Tata Motors. Tata Motors historical share price. I'll take it from Yahoo Finance. All right. So I'll go here. And then you can see, uh, you can just click on download. But before that, you just uh, take some yearly or something like that. Uh, let me take one year data and let me click on downloads. All right. So I got the data in the CSV format. So first, uh, what I'll do is I'll delete open high low. I'll just take uh, consider close closing price. I'll delete this. I'll delete these as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll copy this into Excel format because eViews takes Excel, not the CSV format. So I will go to Excel and I'll copy the data. Copy the data. All right. Mm -hmm. So now you can see one year stock price of Tata Motors. Okay, so uh, I will save this file into one of my location. Let's say I'll save it in desktop. Open, save. Let's say desktop, and I'll write as Tata Motors. Tata Motors. Okay. All right. So this is done. So first. Just have a look at the data. Yes, we have one year data. Now, what you do is now open uh, the software which is uh, eViews. eViews software, you open. Okay, so I'm using the free version which is called as student version. You all can use that. It's free to use. It will give you one year uh, license and uh, for learning purpose that is more than enough. Uh, later, if you require, you can take, uh, you can pay and you can subscribe, you can uh, buy the software. All right. So now what I'll do, I just need to click on open a foreign file because I need to import the file first desktop and I have saved Tata Motors. So I'll click on Tata Motors, right? So there are only two things actually. I can just do next, 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 finish. Link import this is this external source? No. So I got the data. All right. I got the data and just quickly have a feel of the data. I'll just do one thing close price and this. So I can just open the data. Yeah, this is the date and this is the closing price. All right. Okay. So I need to do with the closing price. So what I'll do is I will now. You know that there are two, three ways I can check stationary. 
So just for learning purpose, what I'll do, I'll also plot a graph and I'll also run a co uh, correlogram, which is a autocorrelation function. Um, and then I'll do the augmented to Hefeler test, which is a more formal test. So first quickly uh, plot a graph. Let's say I go, I'll simply take line diagram and click on OK. So graph will look like this. The moment you look like this, you suspect that it is going to be a non-stationary in nature because in last one year it has increased. Uh, I can also uh, go to view and I can also go to uh, this test uh, which from the range we you can see whether it is crossing the range and all that definitely it is crossing the range so it is it has unit root basically all right but more formal test you know the unit root test so you go to unit root test and click on standard unit root test okay uh, it should be level and now these three options which we in the previous lecture we uh, learned that uh, it can have none it can have intercept it can have trend and intercept okay so and the lag it automatically takes we'll discuss this in a subsequent videos later that how you can also change this but yeah this is the default setting so i'll click on ok now once i click on ok you will realize that the p-value is greater than 0 0.05. The moment p-value is greater than 0 0.05, that means you fail to reject the null. Your null is, you, the series is having unit root or it is non-stationary in nature. So, I can clearly say that the series is uh, non-stationary in nature, right? And of course, the equation also you can see with the, uh, you can say that with the intercept, all right? You can also look at the other variants. Sometimes what happens, uh, the other variants gives you stationary, not the intercept one. So you just go through this and then probably none. So that means no intercept, no trend. Let's click. It's also uh, you fail to reject the null. So that means it is non-stationary. Again, the third option also we'll just check. it also gives it is greater than 0 0.05. So, I we can conclude that the Tata Motors stock price for last one year is non-stationary in nature. Right now, let us say you want to copy this entire thing. You just click on uh, anywhere and control A, then do control C, uh, OK, and then go to Word doc, then go to Word doc and then I, you can just simply copy paste this. Word document and then copy paste the result and then you can interpret, you can write whatever is there. So, it is very nicely you can see that copied in a Word doc and then you can. So, that is how uh, you perform uh, the augmented Dukey filler test using eViews. Uh, in case you have any doubt, you can write in the comment section. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope this is useful for you and do practice. Thank you.